Why are xenomorph heads so long? Now at first glance, we assume the reason is just because they are some type of alien. But there's much more information that can explain the shape of their head. Now some studies done by a biological research company called La Salle Bionational had uncovered a lot of information regarding the xenomorph. The company was only mentioned in a short story from 2017 called Empty Nest. The research found the xenomorph had sensory structures along the sides of their extended skulls that were capable of perceiving atmospheric sound vibrations. The shape of its skull also gives it a wide field of hearing. They also found it can detect heat by highly sensitive thermoreactive organs located behind the skull's frontal plate. More research later uncovered special organs that might aid in seeing other xenomorphs. Perhaps this is because the creature does not emit any heat. Their bodies tend to adapt to the temperature of their environment. Later on they discovered that the xenomorph was highly sensitive to low intensity ultrasound pulses. This would immobilize the alien without damaging them. This would allow them to continue studying the creature. This research would later lead the way to creating the sound cannon weapon which was used to disable the xenomorphs. Now another study conducted by Dr. Paul Church revealed that the xenomorph has a psychic receiver organ at the front of its head. This would allow the alien to pick up brain waves and in turn it can assess the physical characteristics of another animal by seeing its subtle body. This then goes back to why the alien is affected by electromagnetic fields. This also gives them the ability to see the fear in an enemy. Dr. Paul Church also discovered that this organ was seen to rot away when an alien was kept in captivity. Perhaps this means the alien was meant to stay within the hive. Now the xenomorph was also seen to be more cautious when it encountered a threat that would stand up to them. But for those that were full of fear, the alien would kill them without hesitating. It's also possible that the xenomorph has a method to pick up pheromones. This could be a reason why they attack intruders when they enter the hive. The scent of them is uncommon, so they must protect the hive. This idea was also seen in the comic books about the killer predators, where this pack of hunters would use pheromones on the wrist gauntlet to control the aliens. This idea was also shown in another comic book story about a synthetic being modeled after a xenomorph. It was equipped with special pheromone secretors that would allow it to infiltrate the hive. But since the xenomorphs were sensitive to motion, they would eventually attack something that is unknown to them. The last bit of information for the design of its head is because it also carries an inner jaw that can extend out of its mouth. When the inner jaw is not in use, it lays deep inside. But it has powerful muscles that give it an extreme amount of force to push outward when attacking. So that was a look into some information on why the xenomorph skull is so long. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Thanks for watching. My name is Asaglow and I'll see you in the next video.